As reports surface about the United States Federal Reserve's move to raise interest rates by 25 basis points, Australia seems to be left in solitude as one of the few central banks to have not raised interest rates. The US Fed's latest interest rate hike has been accompanied by the Bank of England, which recently expanded its interest rates to 0.75% in the UK. Well, it's safe to say that there is a lot left to unpack. The Australian population as interest rate rises would not come without consequences. So in this episode, we'd explore how and why rising interest rates would threaten Australia's booming housing market. Let's take a look at what would happen if these rates rise. It is no surprise that an interest rate hike announcement would not be good news for consumers and businesses. Mortgage lending could become more expensive following a rate hike, adversely affecting borrowers' past and future streams. Those with a variable mortgage rate might not see an immediate effect as the level of impact could differ for different types of borrowers. With a critically high value of mortgage debt being taken out in Australia, the economy seems susceptible to any changes in the interest rate. Even a single percentage point can change cost borrowers and cost them dearly, like it could stretch their monthly interest payments significantly beyond budget. When several closely timed interest rates are expected from the Reserve Bank of Australia, the debt on Australians may pile up faster than anyone can imagine. Small hikes to the cash rate each month could add to an incremental rise in rental payments over a long term period. Conclusively, it can be said that the biggest threat in the current economic environment does appear to be a potential rise in interest rates. And even as lending numbers dwindle due to tighter restrictions, a sizable population could be affected by these higher interest rates. Some experts believe that the economy could even slip into recession if a massive rate hike is implemented. So the onus is now on the RBA to carefully drive up the interest rates without hampering the nation's financial stability. For more info, of course, head to the website calcarnmedia.com and thank you again for joining me.